Hello there. Welcome to yet another interesting class. Today we'll be talking about data processing. Remember the story of Mr. Adi I shared with you in our last class of how he predicts and analyzes the past, present, and future using basic facts which may be input into a processing system such as a computer, generally called data. Thumbs up to you if you can recall. So the next question is, how does he process this data? Don't be scared. This is what we'll be discussing in a short while. Remember that nobody eats raw rice, raw beans, nor raw yam. They all have to be processed into either fried rice, porridge beans, or boiled yam, respectively, before they can be edible. Same way with our data. Unprocessed data is meaningless to us. Data processing is therefore the task of the collection of basic facts to produce information. Usually, this data doesn't have values or is useful in itself until they are subjected to analysis, validations, and comparisons with other data to produce information for decision making. When we process this data, such as searching for the individual amount of food stuff left in our kitchen, such as the number of tubers of yam, the number of cubes of maggi left, or the amount of bottled water left in the fridge, information is definitely produced. Based on the information supplied, mommy can therefore make a list of food items to buy at the market and further request the equal amount of funds in there to make this purchase at the market from daddy. Can you now see the importance of data processing? Beautiful. In summary, we have learned that data processing is an operation on a computer. They involve the entering, sorting, updating, and retrieving of information using a computer. And data are collected, captured, prepared, presented, precise, complete, accurate, purposeful, and assigned. Thank you, and bye for now.